Located 140 miles south of Naples and just north of Sicily, the Aeolian Islands are an extraordinary volcanic archipelago in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The group consists of Alicudi, Filicudi, Stromboli, Basiluzzo, Panarea, Salina, Lipari, and Volcano. The islands take their name from Aeolus, the Greek god of winds, as they were believed to be his mythical kingdom. This region is one of the most geologically active areas in the world. Known also as the Lipari Islands, they are home to hot springs, geysers, underwater vents, and active lava flows. Some believe that when Circe, the enchantress from Homer's Odyssey, warned Odysseus about a dangerous place where even birds dared not fly, she was referring to this very location. The volcanoes Volcano and Stromboli differ from Mount Vesuvius and Mount Etna in their eruptions. Instead of slow lava flows, violent explosions launch lava and ash into the sky like firebombs. In ancient times, sailors used Strombole as a natural lighthouse because its fiery eruptions would light up the night sky at regular intervals. During our sail from Naples to Sicily, we could see plumes of smoke rising from the islands, signalling their restless volcanic activity. If you're planning to visit, ferries run from Messina and Milazzo to Lipari, the largest island, and from there, you can explore the rest. The island's ancient name was Strong Isle, meaning round and powerful, which perfectly describes its volcanic shape. Despite being one of the most active volcanoes in the world, around 500 people still live on Stromboli, a bold decision considering the island is in a constant state of eruption. With no way to escape, life here is truly an adventure. We pulled our boat onto Skari's black volcanic beach, where the contrast of jet black sand against the turquoise sea was truly mesmerizing. During the summer, the island is a popular retreat, attracting visitors seeking tranquility, including celebrities like Dolce and Gabbana. People were lying on the warm black sand, almost as if they were in a natural spa treatment. One of the most thrilling experiences on the island is the Volcano Trekking Tour, which takes you up to 926 metres above sea level near the crater. Several tour operators in Skari offer guided hikes, providing all the necessary equipment. However, good physical condition is required, as the hike is challenging and lasts around five hours. As night fell and we reached the summit, our guide set off fireworks, creating a dazzling display against the dark sky. This was the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean, welcoming sailors from afar. Standing there, mesmerized by the fiery glow of the volcano, I couldn't help but feel like a character from Jules Verne's journey to the center of the earth waiting for Professor Leidenbrock and Axel to emerge from Stromboli's fiery mouth. For those who prefer a panoramic view without the steep climb, Fico Grande and Piscita offer stunning viewpoints where you can swim while enjoying a breathtaking sight of both Stromboli and its tiny sister island, Strombolicchio. When it comes to food, there are no particularly exclusive local dishes, but you'll find a unique sandwich wrap made with Italian cured meats like capicola, brisaola, and salami, or a vegetarian version with fresh vegetables. With Stromboli behind us, we now set sail for our next island adventure. Located 16 miles north of Sicily in the Tyrrhenian Sea, Volcano is one of the most intriguing islands in the Aeolian archipelago. 
In the Sicilian dialect, it is called Vurkanu, but in ancient Greek, it was known as Therasia, Therasia, and Thermesa, meaning hot spring. According to Greek mythology, Vulcano was the sacred home of Hephaestus, the god of fire and blacksmithing, son of Zeus and Hera. Hephaestus was believed to have forged weapons and armor for gods and heroes in his volcanic workshop beneath the island. The famous geographer Strabo even described Thermesa, Vulcano, as Hephaestus's secret place. In Roman mythology, Hephaestus was known as Vulcanus, and from his name, all volcanoes in the world got their name. Throughout history, Volcano has been one of the most active volcanoes, but since 1890, it has remained dormant, transferring its energy to the Stromboli volcano. However, geothermal activity can still be observed, with steaming fumaroles, bubbling mud baths, and hot springs scattered across the island. In 1860, after the Bourbon Kingdom withdrew, a British entrepreneur named James Stevenson purchased the northern part of the island. He built a villa, reopened the island's natural resources, planted vineyards, and began producing Malmsey wine. Everything seemed to be going well until 1888, when the volcano erupted violently. Stevenson was forced to abandon the island, never to return. However, his villa still stands today, a silent witness to Volcano's fiery history. Volcano is home to the Spiaggia di Sabbia Nera, a stunning black sand beach created by volcanic activity. Its dark sands, hot thermal waters, and sulfur-infused air make it one of the most unique beaches in Italy. As we end our journey through Italy's most volcanic islands, one thing is clear. Stromboli and Vulcano are the true beating hearts of the Aeolian archipelago. These two volcanic giants continue to shape the land, influence the climate, and attract those seeking to witness the raw power of nature. But the question remains, how long until the next eruption? Would you dare to stand on the edge of an active volcano? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more volcanic adventures.